Hello, and welcome to the 5 Minute Sound Designer, where I show you some cool new concepts, tools, or sound design techniques in about five minutes. In this video, I want to talk about some free or really cheap tools that you can start using to help with your sound design process. So first up is one called Soundly. Now, Soundly is basically a way to organize all the hundreds, maybe thousands of sound effects that you have on your hard drive, and it makes it so that they're searchable in a really easy way, and you can just drag and drop into your DAW really quickly and really easily. The cool thing about Soundly, though, is that it can also attach to a cloud service and allow you to extend your sound effect library and download a whole bunch of new sounds by paying a monthly fee, but also the software itself is free and it comes with a bunch of free sound effects without paying a dime. So for example, I can have Soundly here and I can type in the word crowd, hit enter, and you can see a whole bunch of crowd sound effects pop up instantly. So I have all my crowd effects really easily accessible. So getting Soundly, if you don't already have some sort of organization system, can be really, really handy to making your sound design a lot quicker and a lot easier. Next up, of course, we have good old Audacity. Now, 99% of you probably already have this piece of software, but I wanna cover it just in case you don't already know about this. It's free audio editing software. It's pretty basic, it doesn't have really advanced features, but you can do most audio editing in it quite easily. It's free for Mac and for PC, and you can check out all the download links below. Next up is Reaper. Now, Reaper is a fully functional digital audio workstation like Logic or Pro Tools, but the twist on it is that it is actually quite cheap. It is very, very fairly priced. You can get an evaluation license, which is what I have here because I don't use it every day, for free and use it for, I think, 60 days or 30 days, something like that. Or if you are a small business or don't make much money on sound or a student, they have a whole bunch of licensing terms on their website. It costs only $60 for the fully featured version of this software. It's both Mac and PC compatible. And I know tons of very high-end professional sound designers who swear by Reaper nowadays and use it every single day. So check it out, especially useful if you don't know what software to start with. This is a great one that's both good for beginners and advanced professionals. All right, next up is Contact. But more specifically, I wanna talk about a version of Contact that's free called the Contact 5 Player. Now, what I have here is the full version of Contact. I don't think I can install Contact 5 Player and the full version at the same time, but visually they look almost the exact same. Now, what Contact 5 and Contact 5 Player allow you to do is have a bunch of sampled instruments, and Contact 5 Player comes with a bunch of free sampled instruments, by the way. Things like brass, piano, weird morphed sound effects, orchestral stuff, whatever it may be. Or you can also insert your own sound effects and make your own instruments completely from scratch inside Contact itself. So give Contact 5 Player a shot. It is limited, it is not the same as Contact 5, it has a lot less features, but if you're just starting out, it's a great place to start. And like I said before, you can download all this stuff below. And lastly, one of my favorite synths that I use pretty regularly that's also totally free is the Tyrell N6. And I mentioned this in another video. Both Mac and PC compatible, all that good stuff. And basically it's a subtractive synthesizer, and if you don't know what that is, you can check out my other video on synthesis. And it's very powerful, totally free, and a great starting point if you don't really have any third-party synthesizers to work with and want to start learning and diving in, which I highly recommend you do. So the Tyrell N6 is a great place to just get your hands dirty and start working with synthesizers. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Also, please sign up for my newsletter using the link below in the description or on the annotation area here as well because I send out weekly tips and career advice for people who want to work in the game industry professionally. Considering I'm working in it every single day, I'm giving you guys the same advice that I wish I heard when I was first starting and when I was even more advanced in the industry. So sign up for that, check that out, and I give weekly advice there. Also, of course, do the standard YouTube stuff that I have to tell you to do. Give the thumbs up, 
subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'm sorry, I know, everyone says to do that. I'm gonna be the same. Also, lastly, watch my TED Talk on video game music. I gave one to a crowd of thousands and told them about the awesomeness of video game music. While other people were there to talk about medicine and science, I was there to talk about video game music. So check that out in the annotation or in the links below. And of course, everything I mentioned here today, you can download in the description below. All the links are there. Everything I mentioned is both Mac and PC compatible, so check it out, and this should be a great place for you to get started with all your sound design software. Thanks.